Here we go, BC3, EJ, Monster, and Justin. By clipping that pole at the beginning, we are able to do all of these extra shortcuts on BC3, and all of this looks humanly possible. None of this involves any rapid fire, which is incredible. So that shortcut you just saw works. If you could clip the pole and miraculously skip the first key checkpoint, you can skip all the subsequent ones, do all these crazy shortcuts, and oh, it's not over. There's one more shortcut. This is a five-parter. Look at this. Normally, these types of shortcuts do not count the lap. That skips key checkpoint, but because of this pull clip, everything you saw is possible. Now we got more super hopping. Look at this variation of the Ghost Valley 2 shortcut. Look at this. Hop, 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 hop. Trick, bounce, 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 dive, wheelie. Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> Okay, that was just for funsies. I was getting a little worried there. I was like, is there another shortcut I didn't even know about? Mario Raceway Fast Lab. This is a multi-parter here. We got Jello Puff and Marth for this this section. Then we got Jello Puff. It actually shows it all right there, depending on who worked on each section of the tool assist, which is extremely cool how they do that. And this is very similar to the Luigi Circuit one I showed in a video not too long ago. This one was found before that one. Back up, get the finish line, and you have to do all of that just to confuse the game. And then you have to go do this again. Yeah. And then you gotta just ride this to the very beginning. And now, this is all for a fast lap. It's all for a one lap record. Then you go off the edge, get the lap count, get behind the checkpoint, then just go finish the lap. And then it counts. But this is only useful for a one lap record. So it's only useful for time trials. But yeah, Mario Raceway, Ultra Shortcut. I don't think I've ever shown that one in a video. Really cool. We got Charlie here on Desert Hills with this Ultra Shortcut that I never thought would be possible because of how far out the start line extends on Desert Hills. I never thought there'd be an Ultra Shortcut on this track. But here we go. Shooting Star, Outside Drift Bike, hitting that random metal rail thing and then bouncing off the out of bounds dark section of the sand, getting far enough back, getting to the last checkpoint, finishing the lap in under 24 seconds. This next one by Blaze MSX. A couple years ago, I don't think we'll ever see this one done humanly. Rapid fire, bullet bike, hitting the rock, going behind the Yoshi statue, getting behind the finish line, out of bounds, and that means ultimately at the end of the track. But you have to go back a little bit further for Dry Dry Ruins because of where the key checkpoints are and it does count the lap though. I'm really curious to see if we ever see this one done humanly. This next one's really fast. Trick off the fountain, bounce off the top part here with the bullet bike, hit this, end up out of bounds, and from here you can just go to the end of the parking lot on the right, and then you are set. This is technically, I think, a legal shortcut in Mario Kart Wii Online because you're not skipping any kit checkpoints, but I'd have to check that first. So for Toad's Factory, it's pretty crazy. You can actually clip this wall, skip two, U-turn sections, the two hardest turns with the spear. It makes me wonder, is the spear the best vehicle on Toad's Factory for no ultra shortcut? Because look at the shortcut. This is insane how much that cuts. And then uh, we need to slow it down a lot. And just look at this. I've always wondered if this was possible. And now we know. Although even though this one is humanly possible, it looks very tough and I can't even imagine getting this in a run. I think the box clip is going to reign supreme for a while, but it is so cool that that even exists in the first place. We got another one from Ancient coming up. This one is on Daisy Circuit, clipping the side here and then cutting the U-turn, and it's actually a little bit faster if done perfectly. So uh, maybe we'll see humans do that one someday. And then there's another pointless one right here. I can't see this one being useful at all, but it is still really cool this exists. Pretty wild that people are discovering such insane clip glitches so late into Mario Kart Wii's history. All right, this is one that was very legendary when it happened. Look at this, landing on top of the sign by clipping the side of the wall, and now using the sign to clip it, of course, the bottom of it to skip half the track. I'm so happy Daisy Circuit has an ultra. If it means playing less Daisy Circuit, I am here for it. And look at this. Oh my gosh, amazing. And then look at this, look at this. Off the tree and skip the whole lap, it's a double parter. I remember when this video came out and I was jaw equals dropped the whole time. Definitely check this video out. I'm putting it in the description. One of my favorite Mario Kart Wii tool assist videos. This last one's my favorite and the one that surprised me the most of any tool assist I've ever seen. Peach Gardens. And I've known about this part for a while. It was always a really cool little bug being able to get inside the hedges. 
the black section where you're out of bounds but you can still drive. And I've done this part before, back in like 2011, 2012, trying to create an ultra shortcut on Peach Gardens myself. But the tool assist community, they are next level. They know the game better than anyone in the world, these people. This tool assist specifically uses this mechanic that I don't even fully understand. You're getting the vehicle upside down and when you're upside down, completely different properties are in place. They call it a barrel roll. It goes way back since we've been calling it a barrel roll. There's a whole explanation here and you guys can look at the video. I put it in the description so you guys can learn the intricacies behind how these tools just work. It's extremely important you're not going too fast when you're going for this shortcut. If you go too fast, you will immediately pop your bike above the ground. The bike is like halfway inside the ground right now. It's the only way that Funky Kong is not being counted out of bounds. But now from here, inside the flower bed, you have to do the bail roll. You have to wheelie over and over and over, get the bike upside down, but be very careful. The rotational speed extremely close to zero. And then right here, just getting enough, the spear is completely upside down without tipping over and because it only cares about where your wheels are you're able to drive around without being respawned only in a straight line but that is all you need as long as you're in the perfectly right spot and this is for a fast lap shortcut definitely never useful for a three lap record on peach gardens time trials but for a fast lap a one lap record going upside down right here i don't know if this is possible guys humanly i really don't think it's possible but i have to show you guys this is one of the most ridiculous shortcuts ever in any mario kart game never seen anything like this and this really opens up a whole new realm of possibilities for future ultra shortcuts because the lap counted and now funky kong is going backwards going backwards going backwards i see funky kong's face just barely in the corner and then right when you get to the spot where you know you're gonna get the respawn to get to where the last key checkpoint is, you just hop out of bounds, hang out on Peach's front porch for a little bit, wheelie down the staircase, boom, lab count, good games, pack your bags, Peach Gardens, ultra shortcut, under 23 seconds. What's gonna happen next?